Good morning. It is September 25th, and I'll be starting in Isaiah chapter 45, verse 11. Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and His Maker, Ask me of things to come concerning my sons, and concerning the work of my hands you command me. I have made the earth and created man on it. I, my hands, stretched up the heavens, and all their hosts I have commanded. I have raised him up in righteousness, and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city, and let my exiles go free. Not for price nor reward, says the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord, the labor of Egypt, and the merchandise of Cush, and the Sabaeans. Men of stature shall come over to you, and they shall be yours. They shall walk behind you. They shall come over in chains, and they shall bow down to you. And they will make supplication to you, saying, Surely God is in you. And there is no other, there is no other God. Truly you are God who hide yourself, and God of Israel, the Savior. They shall be ashamed, and also disgraced, all of them. They shall go in confusion together, who are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved by the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed or disgraced forever and ever. For thus says the Lord who created the heavens, who is God, who formed the earth and made it, who has established it, who did not create it in vain, who formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken in secret, I, in a dark place on the earth. I did not say to the seed of Jacob, Seek me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together, you who have escaped from the nations. They have no knowledge, who carry the wood of the carved image. And pray to a God that cannot save. Tell and bring forth your case. Yes, let them take counsel together, who has declared this from ancient time, who has told it from that time. Have not I the Lord? And there is no other God beside me and a just God and a Savior, there is none besides me. Look to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. I have sworn by myself. The word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return, that to me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall take an oath. He shall say, Surely in the Lord I have righteousness and strength. To him men shall come and all shall be ashamed. We are increased against him, incensed against him. In the Lord all the descendants of Israel shall be justified and shall glory. Chapter 46 Bel bows down, Nebo stoops. Their idols were on the beasts and on the cattle. Your carriages were heavily loaded, a burden to, weary, to the weary beast. They stoop, they bow down together. They could not deliver the burden but have themselves gone into captivity. Listen to me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, who have been upheld by me from birth, who have been carried from the womb. Even to your old age I am he, and even to the gray hairs I will carry you. I have made and I will bear. Even I will carry and will deliver you. To whom will you liken me and make me equal and compare me that we should be alike? The lavish gold out of the bag and weigh silver on the scales. They hire a goldsmith and he makes it a god. They prostrate themselves, yes, they worship. They bear it on the shoulder, they carry it and set it in its place. And it stands firm in its place, it shall not move. Though one cries out to it, yet it cannot answer nor save him out of trouble. Remember this and show yourselves, men. Recall to mind, O you transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure, calling a bird of prey from the east, the man who executes my counsel from a far country. Indeed, I have spoken it. I will also bring it to pass. I have purposed it. I will also do it. Listen to me, you stubborn-hearted, who 
who are far from righteousness. I will bring my righteousness near, and it shall not be far off. My salvation shall not linger, and I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. Chapter 47 Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the daughter of Sit on the ground without a throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind meal, remove your veil, take off your skirt, uncover the thigh, pass through the rivers. Your nakedness shall be uncovered, yes, your shame shall be seen. I will take the vengeance, and I will not arbitrate with a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit in silence. And go in darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no longer be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was angry with my people. I have profaned my inheritance and given them into your hand and showed them no mercy. On the elderly you laid your yoke very heavily, and you said, I shall be a lady forever, so that you did not take these things to heart, nor remember the latter end of them. Therefore, hear this now, you who are given to pleasures, who dwell securely, who say in your heart, I am, and there is none besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, nor shall I know the loss of children, but these two things shall come to you in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon you in their fullness because of the multitude of your sorceries, for the great abundance of your enchantments. You have trusted in your wickedness. You have said, No one sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge have warped you. And you have said in your heart, I am, and there is no one else besides me. Therefore evil shall come upon you. You shall know from where it arises, and trouble shall fall upon you. You will not be able to pull it off, and desolation shall come upon you suddenly, which you shall not know. Stand now with your enchantments and the multitude of your sorceries, in which you have labored from your youth. Perhaps you will be able to profit. Perhaps you will prevail. You are wearied in the multitude of your counsels. Let the astrologers, let now the astrologers, the stargazers, and the monthly prognosticators stand up and save you from what shall come upon you. Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. It shall not be a coal to be warmed by, nor a fire to sit before. Thus, they sh thus shall they be to you, with whom you have labored, your merchants from your youth. They shall wander, each one to his quarter. No one shall save you. Chapter 48 Hear this, O house of Jacob, who are called by name, by the name of Israel, and have come forth from the wellsprings of Judah, who swear by the name of the Lord and make mention of the God of Israel, but not in truth or in righteousness, for they call themselves after the holy city, and lean on the God of Israel, the Lord of hosts is his name. I have declared the former things from the beginning. They went forth from my mouth, and I caused them to hear it. Suddenly I did them, and they came to pass, because I knew that you were obstinate. And your neck was an iron sinew, and your bow bronze. Even from the beginning, I have declared it to you. Before it came to pass, I proclaimed it to you, lest you should say, My idol has done them, and my carved image and my molded image have commanded them. You have heard, see all this, and will you not declare it? I have made you hear new things from this time, even hidden things, and you did not know them. They are created now and not from the beginning, and before this day you have not heard them, lest you should say, of course, I knew them. Surely you did not hear, surely you did not know. Surely from long ago your ears were not opened, for I knew that you would deal very treacherously and call the transgressor from the womb. For my name's sake I will defer my anger, and for my praise I will restrain it from you, so that I do not cut you off. Behold, I have refined you, but not as silver. I have tested you in the furnace of affliction for my own sake. For my own sake I will do it. For how should my name be profaned, and I will not give my glory to another? Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you, 
to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love, endure, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called, in the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. But to each one of us grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, he says, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Now this, he ascended. What does it mean but that he also first descended into the lower parts of the earth? He who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens that he might fill all things. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Do we all come to the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the trickery of men and the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting, but speaking the truth in love, may grow up in all things into him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share, causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. Psalm 68, verse 19. Blessed be the Lord, who daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation, Selah. Our God is the God of salvation, and to the Lord belong to escape from death. But God will wound the head of the enemies, the hair, hairy scalp of the one who still goes on his trespasses. The Lord said, I will bring back from Bashan, I will bring them back from the depths of the sea, that your foot may crush them in blood, and the, and the tongues of your dogs may have their portion from your enemies. They have seen your procession, O oh God, the procession of my God, my King, into the sanctuary. The singers went before the players on instruments, followed after. Among them were the maidens playing timbrels. Bless God in the congregations, the Lord from the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin, their leader, the princes of Judah and their company, the princes of Zebulon and the princes of Naphtali. You, God, your God has commanded your strength. Strengthen, O God, what you have done for us. Because of your temple at Jerusalem, kings will bring presents to you. Rebuke the beasts of the reeds, the herd of bulls, with the calves of the peoples, till everyone submits himself with pieces of silver. Scatter the peoples who delight in war. Envoys will come up out of Egypt. Ethiopia will quickly stretch out her hands to God. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth. O oh, sing praises to the Lord. Selah. To him who rides on the heaven of heavens, which were of old. Indeed, he sends out his voice, a mighty voice. Ascribe strength to God. His excellence is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds. O oh God, you are more awesome than your places. The God of Israel is he who gives strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Proverbs 24 verse 3 through wisdom uh, through wisdom a house is built and by understanding it is established by knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches and that's it for our reading today let's go ahead and pray lord we <coughs> we thank you this morning for your word we pray that you would just go before us that you would fill us with your spirit or to overflow would you let your word just have impact on our lives. Lord, we thank we thank you for all that you're doing. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys.